Okay, good afternoon everybody. Today we are doing Dickie Moe's Portside Plank Salmon. Now, the reason we're doing this one today is on my Facebook page, uh, there's been a lot of requests for people for me to do this because in the stores, the 99 cent only stores right now and a few other retailers, we are selling the Barbecue Joe uh, Cedar Grilling Plank. So we're gonna do this tonight with uh, a cedar plank. However, you can do it with a bunch of different kinds of planks. I've got uh, hickory planks are really good. Alter, uh, alders of wood uh, plank that we can do. We can do it with cherry planks. But uh, we're doing it with the uh, the good old faithful cedar grilling plank. Now, I uh, so so that's just uh, as a side note. So everybody on Facebook, when you're watching this, it's going to go up on Facebook in the next couple of days. And then you'll be able to get a visual on what is on the back of this particular uh, plank that's packaged in the store. So what we've got going here is the Barbecue Joe Chronicles is actually my book, just in case you've never seen my blog. And you can get it at bbqjoe.com, you can get it at uh, uh, amazon.com or barnesandnoble.com and pretty much in any country of the world you can pull up a bunch of different websites and find it. And uh, anyway, my blog is just barbecuejoe.com. It's just spelled like that, B-A-R-B-E-Q-U-E, Joe, Barbecue Joe. And that'll pull up uh, me on uh, Facebook. Okay, now, with all that behind us, uh, what we're doing today with this cedar plank is we've got this in just about a tenth of an inch of uh, this, this Chardonnay. You can use any kind of white wine. But yeah, pretty much, you know, when you start your bing and bang on this thing, you want to just put it in a little bit of uh, something, juice, or, uh, you know, if you don't want to put it in wine, you can put it in something else, water. You just want to soak it enough so it doesn't flame up right from the beginning because these cedar planks really, they, 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 they flame up pretty quickly. So for about 10 minutes, you do that. And then you place skin down, you're going to put this uh, piece of salmon as a whole piece. Uh, with the skin facing down and then you're going to put the salmon seasoning mix all over the top of it. Now you can see I've already prepared this but I can do it a little bit more just to show you. And then the last thing you do is you sprinkle a little bit of uh, a little bit of lemon all over the top and you put the lemon slices on it for not just an aesthetic visual but it also helps uh, give it a really nice zingy zing, and zingy zing is kind of like, uh, gives it a little bit of wow factor. So it's really good. Now, the uh, that's all you do there. And then I've got my asparagus actually here in foil. They'll go on, and we will expose those and give them grill marks and give it a nice score look at the very end. It just has a little bit of uh, olive oil on it, and it's going to sit in this, and then the last 10 minutes while this is uh, smoking and, and getting ready for, uh, for the delish phase while we're sitting here eating it, uh, then we'll pull it out, give it some score marks. But the one thing that I want to show you guys is with this, what we're going to do is we're going to lock this thing down and we're going to put it in a piece of foil. Now this is something that you can do or not do, but I personally like to do it for the first five minutes of the grilling. You just close it down like this, completely encapsulating the top, just like that, and it goes on the grill just like that. And then we pull the foil off after five minutes. It just helps get the, the, the cooking on the, on the top side of it going really fast, and then you take it off, and it's just amazing. But I've gotten better results with the, the foil on top of it for just those first five minutes. And the last 10 to 13 minutes, depending on how hot you keep your grill, and I, I really don't want you keeping it more than 280, 300, keep it right around there. You go up to five, 600 degrees, you know, you're just gonna have a mess, okay? So just keep it at a lower temperature. Uh, this stuff is not gonna, it's not like a big piece of meat. It doesn't need that kind of heat. All right, so we'll see you out at the grill. Marinate often, grill responsibly, buy my book.